welcome back uh, to the last part of this tutorial of how to flash your uh, Cube Talk X9. So what we've done so far is we've made a backup, we've put our uh, flash box, we created our flash box for the SP uh, flash tool. Um, and what we're going to do now is quickly is make a backup of our IMEI number. Now the best way to do this is there's a desktop version of this piece of software so it's in my zip so let's open the zip and if we go to other tools mobile uncle and we click the top first the first one and it's going to come up in a bunch of lang lang different language I think it's Thai um, first thing to do is click Y and then it's going to ask you for your IMEI number so I've written mine down already so copy it or type it in paste press enter and it's going to ask you for it again well it asks you for the second sim but I'll just put it in twice and what it does is it creates uh, a backup file for it and it creates what's this called mpob001 underscore new file now this is what you can use within file explorer to um, put back onto your tablet just in case your IMEI number gets um, wiped uh, for any other reason right but it's also always good to have yeah so if you guys want to do this step it's up to you okay so next we're going to go into SP flash tools going to load up the application okay first thing to do is load our scatter file so if we go to uh, load scatter file um, and go into our backups where we did our files to flash um, uh, files to flash we'll see there's a scatter file created now if you select this you can see the scatter, file, the scatter files created but no locations of any of the uh, parts of the, of, of the different blocks are here so this is the issue I got into and it also doesn't have a region section so the tool is not creating the region section for the scatter file so you'll get a number of errors if you try to flash even if you fill in these locations so what I did was um, I took a backup from a version 2 um, from the stock ROM I took the scatter file and I've placed it in the uh, folder structure also now just to let you know this worked for me so you know please do your due diligence on it beforehand the best thing to do is the most important thing is picking to make sure these addresses match that of the scatter file you're, you're, um, you're loading okay because these addresses are basically where it's flashing it to uh, on, on the tablet okay so what I'm going to do first is open up uh, go back into SP um, go back into my ROM kit and within SP flash tools there's a I've made another folder called scatter file 2.0 if you take this copy it go back into SP um, go back into MTK droids tools backups um, go back into our backup files to flash tool and if we over if we paste it here we'll overwrite oh, let's just create another version of it we're going to delete the original version and it's just going to keep this version here okay now go back to SP flash tool scatter file loading and select the scatter file we just copied now what you see here something a little bit different is we will see that all the um, these have been all now pre-populated with our backup um, our backup blocks okay now the only one that hasn't is this top one which is the preloader now we can go and flash the preloader as well by ticking this box clicking here going back into the backups folder files to flash 
and clicking lk.bin or sorry preloader.bin okay the reason is I think the um, the original stock version creates a different name for that preloader so he doesn't pull it up okay next what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, partition size so this ebr.1 and ebr.2 file um, these uh, are from the stock ROM so basically for, from your tablet so they're basically 2 gig and whatever you have left so the best thing to do what we're going to do is because we want 6 gig is we're going to click this we're going to go back to the, the um, toolkit we're going to SP flash tools and we're going to go into app We're going to go. We're going to go into app space repartition 6G. Okay. I'm going to select the first file, and we're going to go down to the second part. Re navigate to the um, flash tool. App space repartition 6G, and click the second file. Now these files are a pair, so you make must make sure you if you are flashing other ones that they're always the same pair from, from the same person okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our boot recovery so where it says recovery here select this and we're going to go back to the toolkit SP flash tools and we're now going to pick our twerk mod recovery or Lepi's mod okay as of this tutorial, this is the most current version, but he may do some more interface tweaks, etc. So please go and find him on Freak, uh, Freak Tabs and download the latest version. And also donate. Click recovery.image. So the things we've done now is we replace the two file side partitions and we've replaced the recovery. Okay. Now we've got all these checked also on the side. And these two haven't been unchecked, right? Because we don't have any um, locations for these ones. Okay. And I believe that should be okay for what we want to do. The next most important thing is to make sure this is download only. Okay. You don't want to leave this put it, this to anything else. And the reason being is it could, like I said, wipe your firm, uh, wipe your IMEI number. Okay. So the next thing to do is shut down your tablet. I'm going to do mine now. Take a few seconds. You'll hear it vibrate and it's off. And unplug the USB from the bottom. So the tablet is disconnected now. Okay. Next thing you want to do is uh, click download the download button and it will go into this kind of mode right once this now that the tool is ready to flash don't turn on your tablet just plug in the USB the PC should recognize it and you'll this red bar will come up downloading and now it's flashing And it's going to flash to these addresses. Now, if you do have any issues with it and it comes up with different errors, there's different error codes you can you can go and um, check on the internet, um, etc. I did have a few while doing this tutorial, but you can always change the uh, first thing to do is change the uh, check is the um, the speed of the, your uh, USB. So within options here, you can change. You can just grade out now, but within options, you can change those parameters from full, from high speed to full. Okay, so I'm going to let this flash because it's going to take a while, and I'll get back to you when it's done. It's to do. Well, it's actually 12 minutes, and you can see it says OK, done. All right, so we're finished there. So we flashed the tablet. Okay, so that's all done. The next thing to do is go back to our toolkit folder and 
and what you want to do is go into um, back into SP Flash Tools and Recovery and what you want to do is go to your custom rom.zip and additional files and take these take the files that you extracted or you want to uh, flash to the zip via recovery mod recovery and put them onto your SD card okay so you can like you said you can have multiple of these you have the main rom here and we've got the keyboard fix um, you know if you've got brightness fix and the other other fixes on there you can you can flash that on there okay now once we've done this flashing um, we've done this flash tool you to be honest you no longer really need to do it um, everything else can be done now via mod recovery now we've got mod recovery on the tablet so in the future if you want to flash a new ROM etc to the uh, tablet um, and keyboard fix etc just copy the download the zips from uh, Lepi or whoever you're downloading the ROM from put them onto the SD card um, and put them on the tablet so now I'm going to try and do a video of uh, me flashing the tablet with the new um, the new ROMs okay so the first thing to do is like I said put these onto your SD card your tablet should still be off put the SD card back in the tablet and we'll continue the video um, in the next uh, we'll continue the video in the in twerp okay now we put all our files onto the SD card that we want to flash we put the SD card back in and we boot up the tablet as you can see okay um, first thing to do is download an application from the Play Store called Mobile Uncle Tools. It looks something like this. Click that. Grant access. And you'll see at the top it says root. Now this is quite a good tool. It has a bunch of stuff there that you can do. Um, the first what we want to do is we want to boot into recovery mode. So we want to, there's an option here, enable, what's it called? Into recovery mode, right? So click that, into recovery, press OK, tablet will turn itself off. And now we're going to boot straight into Twerp mod by Lepi. Okay, now this is what it looks like, and you can see the version at the top is I have is 2.8.5.0. And the first thing we want to do is go to install, and we want to select storage at the bottom, and you've got external SD card, okay, and you can see it's got. Um, if we go up a level we can see our two files at the bottom here okay so first thing we want to do is click the first one which is the ROM right <clears throat> and we want to add um, several updates in one go so we click this plus symbol scroll back up scroll back down sorry and click keyboard okay now it's added both to our queue, okay? Now what we want to do is swipe to install. And it's going to start installing the, um, the ROM itself to the tablet. All right, so let's give it this. It will probably take a couple of minutes to do, and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay, and we're back. That took about another about 10 minutes or so, so be patient. Once we're done, just click Reboot. Tablet should go blank. And now you'll see the new boot logo from Lepi. And the tablet will boot. Now the first boot will take some time. Um, so be patient. Okay, we're back and looks like it's booted. So we're gonna slide to unlock. And we're in. You can go to check the settings. Um,
we scroll up as you see he's put a kind of a lollipop theme on it um, we can go to about the tablet and you can see the custom build version etc uh, written there um, and there you go guys congratulations you have now got a custom ROM on your tablet enjoy the fixes like I said please uh, donate to the people that help create all this for you guys Leppy, Brian etc check the document um, and enjoy and if you guys have any further comments or anything you want to add uh, please let me know um, if you can make the tutorial better uh, head over to uh, Freak Tabs and uh, have, a, have a look on there and also try and get involved and post some stuff um, and keep the community going. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Bye bye.